Hey there, Brian Hutchison, Global Career Guy, back for episode 50. Uh, the episode seemed to be coming a little more fast and furious now that my primary gig is back happening. It's a really intense two-day period for me here. It's uh, the beginning of the academic year at New Jersey City University. Uh, I'm teaching my first two classes yesterday and today, actually three classes in total, and of course starting off as department chair. Uh, the other kind of cool thing that's happening is, is apparently uh, with my recent move to the country, uh, I have an hour and 15 minute commute. Apparently I thought I would listen to music and podcast. Instead, I keep thinking about the things that are happening in my work life and then finding an opportunity to pull over on the side of the road and talk about them on my vlog. So it would seem we're going to have a lot of car shots moving forward. Um, so, so what's really on my mind this morning is teaching, uh, teaching counselors, being a counselor educator, um, any ongoing series of courses or interactions that would add up to teaching uh, versus a one-time workshop or a one-time talk. Um, you know, I'm a fan of uh, R&B and rap music, and one of the phrases in that is having a hook which is the portion of the song, it may be the chorus, it may be the intro, that repeats throughout, that really pulls people into the song. Um, and I really think about teaching each of my classes in that way. For me, a hook is the one thing that must happen in that class above all else and at the expense of everything else for the class to be successful. And so if I go in as an instructor thinking, this one thing has to happen, or else nothing else that I want to happen can happen. And so I'll give you the examples of my classes this semester. Last night I taught a clinical course, internship, and the hook is, is that we are going to slow down and methodically go through our clinical work for the course of the semester with the sole purpose of you becoming the, better, the best better counselor that you can be. Wherever you're at today, we want to take the next 16 weeks to improve clinically as much as possible. And so I feel like in last night's class, the hook started to set and that the students are really curiously invested in finding out what that unusual hook uh, for many of them is all about. Tonight I teach career class. The hook for my career class is uh, that career work is justice work. That if we desire a more just society, that career work in counseling and coaching is a part of creating this more just society. And so that, you know, that's something that I'm known for. Of course, I have my career work as justice work course, uh, which is heavily influencing my career class. But what this gives me is, is it gives the course a point of view. And I think so many instructors teach to the book or teach content chronologically as it's unfolded. And I have found to really engage students dynamically, it has to be two things. It has to be practical. So there has to be a practical or practice element to the work, but it has to have a point of view. And so I'm just very honest from the, from the onset of, this is my point of view from this class. I've planned a class to reinforce that hook throughout. And my goal is, is to, to do everything I can to get my audience or my students to buy into that hook. Um, from external feedback, from student feedback, course evaluations, awards, this seems to work really well for me. And I hope that it's at least useful to you in your work to get the juices flowing in your brain and to keep a conversation going. So episode 50 is in the books. Brian Hutchison, Global Career Guy, signing off until next time.